Subbies. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> he gets that um that minty taste, so it tastes nasty. I'll put it in the refrigerator for you, Pooh. So uh we got up at like 8 15 it's now 8 50 so hubby has went off to work um he actually got to he actually got to sleep in this morning didn't have to drop Aiden off because i have my auntie car i'm like no babe i'll take him in the morning because he came in last night he's like we got an early morning i'm like well i can take him so you can you know sleep in a little bit in the morning so it's been a minute since i've taken him to school so kind of happy he was awesome this morning he ate his cereal and i just got him dressed just threw one of his little um outfits on that i didn't have to iron um and uh yeah so he had an awesome morning i don't know why he likes to give hubby a hard time in the morning it's so muggy out here oh my goodness it didn't even rain last night but it's humid go ahead jam dance break Dance, jam, pool, jam, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> get the shot, get your, get your shot on. Get it, pool, get it. <laughs> get it, T. Up, up. <laughs> All right, tell the subbies they have a good day. So, I'm in Wally World, and I came in here to get ranch, and I think I'm gonna make, I have a little bit about, a little bit about, I have about a pound of ground beef. So I think I'm going to make a small thing of ground beef. Really, seriously, this little one is 218, and this one is 268. What's 50 cents? They be doing that stuff because people be like, what's 50 cent? I mean, I wouldn't get the small one anyway because we eat ranch like <laughs> nobody's business. So, give me some ranch so that I can make a salad. This is what I need to come up in here and get for Aiden's piñata. Ooh, I'm in Walmart. Let's go see if they got the Jake and the Neverland Pirate piñata. Check this out, y'all. I'm about to come. Yep, I want this one. Oh man, they got all of them, y'all. Look. Cat in a the hat. They got Mickey Mouse. They got Batman. Ooh, I am definitely coming up here to get me a onesie. Okay, y'all, so it's a fail on uh, Jake and the Neverland Pirates. They got everybody but him. SpongeBob, Spider-Man, Ninja Turtle, Minnie Mouse, Princesses, Mike Wazowski, a minion. No Jake. Okay, so Walmart actually, y'all, they they had some shoes on clearance for five dollars. So I had to get them because they were just nice light, those nice light running shoes. And Aiden, as y'all know, is a runner. So. He needs some light shoes. <laughs> I like buying him those light strap Nikes and stuff. Just because he's so used to just moving fast. Um, I try not to get him like real clunky, clunky shoes. So, back home. And uh, my Walmart haul is um, sending stuff hard shop cargo shells. And these are the shoes. Just light running shoes, like nothing spectacular, no name, just but they blue and they got the red at the bottom. Like, these are some nice little shoes for five dollars for Aiden to run around. Y'all, we are like 624 subscribers strong on YouTube. Like, it's still crazy to me, baffling. Like, it's still crazy when we get new 
subscribe like we're still of course getting subscribers we're still posting videos you know people are liking and sharing and stuff but it's still just crazy to me sometimes like dang like i remember when we had like <laughs> eight for forever like forever we had a very very small following for a long time and it's crazy how far we've come you know on youtube and i enjoy it like it's so it's so much fun like i can definitely do this and um what else so we appreciate you guys for everyone that is subscribing liking commenting sharing like we really really appreciate it but I was saying, like on YouTube, you can look and see like your demographic, like the people that watch your channel, you know, the age group, the, you know, countries and stuff where they are, you know. And it's so funny because I looked and like a vast majority of our viewers are in between the ages of 25 and I'll say 40. Like, and it's so funny because me and hubby, every time we, we when we've moved, we've always had friends and they've always been older you know like in their 30s you know we moved to Arizona we had a couple of friends and they're in their 40s you know and it's so crazy because I'm like it's so funny how we attract an older crowd and it's so funny because like I mean um like I feel like I'm still trying to figure life out you know like I don't think I have I, I I figured out life you know what I'm saying like for somebody that's older than me or somebody that's in say their 40s or even 50s you know we have a small group that says we have a couple of people that's like in 50 plus so it's just crazy how you know our our viewing is which is awesome to me because I feel sometimes I feel like once you hit like that 25 mark you know you you realize that it's time to grow up you know like it's more to life than just you know what you do in your twin you know your early 20s you know and i think that's why we have such a supportive a supportive following like it's not a drama you know we ain't hiding trolls as you know them internet trolls baby you know like i had a few like on my peach cobbler video but that was it you know as far as like regular our regular day-to-day -day vlogs we don't have people trolling and policing and stuff to see i got time for that you know like <laughs> I'm grown if you don't have a thick skin and you're not comfortable with you and you know say your parenting style because a lot of the, the videos that I watch are vlogging families you know people with um, kids and stuff like if you're not comfortable with yourself and your parenting skills and you know just how you live your life <laughs> I tell you, boy, them trolls will, they will get you, okay? They will make you second guess your parenting. You know, they will have you feeling like you are the worst of the worst if you let that get to you. Now, you know, I'm all for opinions and constructive criticism, but really, some opinions need to be kept to yourself, you know, or how you feel about, like, you, you don't know these people. You are seeing all of 15, 20 minutes of somebody's 24-hour day you know so it's just crazy but i appreciate all of you like you guys are wonderful and i appreciate the positive feedback and the positive support that we do get and then you know like i say constructive criticism when we get it you know if, if if you see something like oh like for instance we fed bubbles grapes okay and she only had like two grapes but i'm late what time is it oh i need to go clock in uh we fed her grapes. Somebody noticed. And they said, you know, you might want to check with your vet to see if, you know, you should feed the dog grapes. And I appreciate that because we probably would have been still feeding her grapes and she would have been sick. And we would have been like, well, what the hell did she eat? Like, what happened? You know? So, I appreciate things like that. You know, like, with YouTube, you learn from each other. You know, like, I love the feedback from you guys when we ask different questions about different things, you know, just, you know, whatever you guys get from our channel, you know, so I just want to say I appreciate it, you know, I'm just rambling, blah, 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 it's Friday, I'm excited, I don't know why I'm so excited, but my hair's still looking busted, but I'm still excited, I'm breathing, I'm living, so, talk to y'all in a minute.
Really? I told you guys I have to go to work. I can't keep talking right now. Give me about two hours and I'll come back and chat with y'all in a minute. Okay? So, Mr. Um, Aiden is having issues at school. They just had to call me, y'all. I was having a good day. See? This little boy. Why do kids have to act crazy when they're not around you as a parent? And he know better. He's had a good week and then he waits till Friday to act up. This little boy. So they just call me. And I'm just, whew, what do you do with three year olds? We are the type of parents that, oh, you're going to be held responsible for your actions. They not just going to tell me something. You're going to come home and be playing and acting like everything was okay. No. I told him. Every action and decision that you make has consequences. Whether they be good or bad, depending on your decision. And, you know, of course, telling a three-year-old that, he really does not understand. But I have to, you know, you got to hold the kids accountable, no matter how small or big it is. Wow. That was all good. What? Oh, I got off early and I go in late tomorrow so I'm actually relaxing at 7.30 and I'm at home so yay me. I'm exhausted. I'm just, my whole body hurts. So. I'm just trying to just trying to unwind and relax so Talk to y'all later. Good morning. Where are we? None other than uh, Walmart. So we're doing a little shopping if you want to go. Look at this. How cute is this little bitty? How cute is that, y'all? Hubby hating. Talking about you ain't getting it. Um, so we doing a little bit of shopping. Say good morning. One of those days. Happy Saturday. Now we are in um, Santa Claus. I have a boyfriend. Lego movie. He eating his snacks, drinking his juice. And he saw Lego movie all the way over there. Hubby hungry, so he went over there to get him a Polish and grab Aiden and pizza. Um, we had to hit Sam's Club up because some of their deals are just, I mean, some of like their prices for certain things like household stuff, baggies, and um, trash bags. And stuff like that is better to get it from here because you get more for your money. So um, that's what we got to do. I took my hair down last night, and after that two hour process, y'all, I went to bed. My bad, we didn't take a night last night, but I was super sleepy, and my hair is so funny shaped. Y'all see how thin my hair is? This is why I'm like this one. Because this is like over thin. So, um, yeah. I think I'm going to get it braided this week. Hopefully. Hi, Sammy. <laughs> Look at my hands, bro. Here, take that. Huh? Take that. Here, chop, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, y'all. So, I am looking probably all kinds of crazy right now. Um, I literally just de... Um, this is... Haired um, the couches. If y'all can kind of see Mom. how they look a little bit kind of clean you probably can't tell because you probably didn't actually see the hair originally but we finally got us a um mommy what's this that's the cape Aiden don't take it off please let me see Turn around. Yeah, that's just the cape it's on there what it's just the cape baby like Batman and Superman have capes? That's what it is. I well, I can't slide. Yeah. So, um, I basically just de the whole couch. I'm gonna get you some. Go sit in your room, please. Um, under it, the bottoms of it, all the corners, all the pillows, front and back, even the leather part I did with the um, vacuum because we found a vacuum cleaner. And I am super excited about the vacuum cleaner because I actually, Aiden, I'm talking. Thank you. Yeah, smell like bubble gum. Um, 
had actually worked. And then I went over the floors because it's a floor, it does floors and carpet. And so I um, basically vacuumed the floors to see if it would pick up. And it picked up a lot of hair, y'all. When I say a lot of hair, it picks up a lot. I think our other vacuum cleaner, we knew we needed a new one, but we were just using it because that's, you know, all we had at the time. So, um, we just didn't know what kind we wanted to get. And so when we was in Walmart today, we was looking at the, um, at the vacuum cleaners and this is the one we ended up getting. So, it's this Yarika. Helper filter and it has this pet brush. All right, guys, so it is, um, it's 2 a.m. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I am so so sleepy. I was literally falling asleep sitting up, and I am about to crash. As I talked to y'all earlier, I continued de in my house. <laughs> and i had to take my um first math test so i did that finished that hubby came home he did the kitchen and then we continued de hairing some more and so basically we done our bedroom i did my office um i did aiden's room and then uh i did the living room but tomorrow bubbles is going to get groomed i told y'all that so uh when she leaves i'll redo the living room and stuff because all of her um we got our new bed so um the oh we'll be going in the trash so and then when she come back she'll be cutting stuff so try to get rid of all of the loose hair before she come back so that's the plan and it seems to be working really well like walking on the floor you don't really feel it like you know the test is going to be putting on some black socks and walking and see how much it picks up that's going to be a test babe <laughs> yes hubby is home and he it's about to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. But today was really productive. We got a, a lot done. We actually been up since eight o'clock. <laughs> and no nap. Like he went to work and I was here, but I did not take a nap. Aiden didn't even take a nap. So um, yeah, tired is not even the word. <laughs> uh, so I uh, hope you guys had a wonderful Saturday. And um, if you're a new viewer and you want new vlogs from Proville, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you guys comment down below. We love chatting with you guys. And make sure you share the videos. Tell a friend. And um, remember, if you love life, vlog it. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Sunday fun day. Night. Have a good night. Morning, guys. Pizza Provo.